Okay, all right, everyone. You want a review for this movie? I'll just give it to you. Go see it. That's it. That's the five second review. This movie was the first movie I've seen in so long where once it finished, I sat in my seat and I said, I need to go onto my app right now and go get a seat to see it again in a theater right away. I wanted to watch the movie as soon as it finished. I've not had that experience since Avengers Endgame. So our crowd had people from ages like zero until a hundred and everyone was howling and having such a great time. Both an origin story as well as a new story. But the way that the story unravels itself, especially the mid credit scene, I started screaming. Bring your kids, it is a movie that's safe for like elementary school and teenagers. As a pediatrician, I want to let you know that it does have some PG-13 curse words. It's not really full on. It's just some words that you know you don't typically hear in a preschool classroom. You don't hear in a third grade classroom, or at least not in my third grade classroom, talking about good versus evil. And there's a wonderful family message, which is, again, if you watch any of my reaction videos and reviews online, I love it when movies have positive messaging because that is how you entertain, to educate, to empower, which is what I feel I built my whole brand on. Highlights from the movie are the voice acting. Yo, bro. Bro! Bro! Bro Sam! Abracadabra! The people who play Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, those four main actors are sensational. They have such a brotherly bond in the way that they voice act. Sometimes when I listen to animated movies, you can kind of feel that the actors were not in the same room to be able to play off of each other, but the way that they banter these four turtles, these four teenagers, excuse me, is quite realistic and they feel like brothers who will talk over each other, who poke fun at each other. And it's hard to do that if they're not in the same room. So it kind of feels like they have that dynamic while recording, which makes it really come to life because they're able to play off of each other's humor, off of each other's emotions, and it really makes for a more in-depth viewing experience, which you don't typically get anymore. And I think what is a huge telltale sign, I knew that this movie was an absolute hit when the credits started rolling and the entire audience applauded. That is also something that has not happened since Avengers Endgame. This movie really tapped into the formula for a successful blockbuster because I think a lot of us go to movie theaters and see movies and we're like, oh, that was okay, what a swell time. But this one was such a thrilling experience. Again, as soon as it finished, I thought, I need to like capture everything that they were doing on screen with the action, with the lighting and the coloring and the dynamism and all those hidden Easter eggs. So much was happening on screen that you're like, they took the Spider-Verse formula and applied turtles to it. And I'll tell you my rating for it on a scale of one through 10 decimals are encouraged at the end. I'd love to hear what you think about it. I was really tired this morning. I was really tired this morning and I was gonna cancel going to see this movie. I was like, it's just Ninja Turtles. We can catch this at any time. I'm so happy I didn't do that because this movie energized me, made me feel so good. It made me want to come and review it for you all so you could go watch it as well and experience this amazing family, friendship, feel good movie. And when thinking about the movies for the summer, you have Mission Impossible and Barbie and Oppenheimer, and you can see all those reviews here on the channel. And I had joked at one point, it kind of just rolled out of my mouth before I could capture it and bring it back. I said, maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is gonna be the summer movie. And you know what? It is. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is the summer movie for 2023. There was one sequence, not even just one, there's maybe four sequences that are just solid cinematic masterpieces. And you thought, y'all went hard not once, not even twice, bro, not even three times. You went hard four times and then you have that mid credit scene? Bro, bro. Some things that I felt detracted from it being a perfect movie was, and it's not even that, that big, it was that there was one moment, and this will be a little bit of spoiler territory, so if you don't want to hear it, please stop watching right now and come back at the end of the video for my rating, or go watch the movie and then come back and watch this. So you've been warned, ready, set, let's talk. When, at the end of the movie, they had this arc for Leonardo about how he was the leader of the brothers, and I thought that it was quite charming that they ridicule him and make fun of him and say, bro, you're supposed to be the leader, bro, you can't do anything, you can't lead, and so he's kind of self-conscious about it without actually being so in his feelings about it. And then by the end of the movie, they have the brothers come around and say, wow, Leo, for the first time, you actually sounded like a great leader. And I thought, wow, I start tearing up, because I have siblings too, and you know we have moments. And then Leo goes, 
oh, I'm a leader? Yeah, I guess I am a great leader. And then they start making fun of him. And I thought, why? We were so close, like, the, the reason that comedy hits so hard, and it does every single time, if you pay attention to the movies you like the most, they have ebbs and flows. Drama comedy, drama comedy. And this movie had ebbs and flows, and one moment that was the comedy coming down into the drama, and they cut itself, it didn't allow itself to hit the drama and come down elegantly, it just fell off the cliff into comedy. Bro, you're not really a good leader. And I thought, no, let Leo have his moment because that's his growth, that's his arc. I feel like people's characters' arcs need to be sacred in storytelling. That was one moment I wish that Leo could have just like been in his own head and we saw him and the camera kind of panned in. He goes, <sighs> and just like grunts to himself or something and he moves on. The second moment that I felt could have been a little bit stronger was also at the end of the movie, which had some profound messaging about making enemies out of people that you know nothing about, which is like all of society. <laughs> that kind of coming together moment, and it was beautiful. Maybe it doesn't touch everyone the same way it touched my audience, but it is a New York audience. The story is in New York, so we're all like, this is us. <laughs> and they finally succeeded in the mission, which was to drop the device into the villain's blowhole. They're like, oh my gosh, and here we go, here we go, here we go, cut, drops. And I thought, oh, can we do that one more time, but like in slow mo? Like that final cut from Leo, again, it was Leo. I feel like Leo got undercut. Ah! So I felt like that moment could have really been slow. The voice actress for April. I felt that she had a lot of comedic lines written in her script. And the second April comes on screen, she feels very much different. That is the kind of thing I mean where it feels like actors are not in the same room. She was reading words on a page, doing her best and it just didn't sync up with how the brothers were talking with each other. So when she was trying to banter with them, the lines kind of clashed a little bit and wasn't as fluid or as homogenous of an experience. The mid credit scene is just, I, 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 a lot of references to pop culture, various sports players, celebrities, music icons. It was just anime. Millions of memes are gonna come out of this movie and GIFs because it's just built that way. It's engineered to be a social media explosion. Hence why I felt like I had to come and talk to you all about it while I'm tired because it was just so fun. I feel I related to it, not just as a New Yorker or a movie critic, but also as a human being and a person and someone who knows the references that these turtles are referencing. And I thought, okay, if you know that, then we must be in the same world. So I felt connected to them in some way, which is again, very smart way to build your movie. And the animation again was just breathtaking. And the more that we allow artists to break the mold. Imagine if Frozen 3 allowed itself to break the tradition and give us something novel. That would be very welcomed. And I think Wish is trying to do that. Disney's animated next animated movie. We'll see how well it does. So many references to pizza, which I think is just the people's food at this point. I'm just like staring at it because it's literally their poster. I'm like, oh yeah, our brand is Turtles and Pizza. So come watch our movie. And with that, I will give you my rating on a scale of one through 10. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of you for your comments on my last video. I love reading your comments and engaging with you in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about this movie as well as the other ones which you can watch right here. I really enjoyed making this review for you. So if you enjoyed it, please click the like button. That's how I know that you liked it. Subscribe and check out some more videos on my channel. I have so much for you to watch. It's amazing. It's like over 200 videos and I have like over a thousand on TikTok. So you can come join the family and let me know which movies you think I should review next. Drum roll please. A 9.8. I know it's amazing. Oh, I look so puny. <laughs> si mi amigo donde está el baño, si mi amigo donde está el baño, si mi amigo donde está el baño, donde está el baño, donde está el baño. <laughs> Don't stop the baño. 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 You know what Mary told me? She was like, Peter, just be yourself. And I was like, which one? <laughs>